Hello, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Queen Elizabeth II, the oldest ruler of Great Britain, from 1953 to the present. She is famous for being a strong and powerful woman. However, there are still many things that people don't know about her. Things about a woman who still longs for a normal life, love, spiritual motherhood. Only women can bring out the gentle breath and full of concern for the hard parts of humanity. That is the saying of one of the most powerful women in the world. And in today's video, we will learn about Queen Elizabeth II, the power queen of England, and the 70-year love story that touched the world. Smooth Childhood In April 1926, Britain was on the verge of a general strike called by the Trades Union Congress, TUC. Earlier, a storm hit the country's economy, causing post-war coal prices to drop and the mining industry under pressure. The government's proposal to reduce miners' wages has provoked a general strike by miners and workers under TUC's leadership, including rail and transport workers. In the midst of the crisis, Prince Albert, Duke of York, the son of King George V, and his wife, Elizabeth Bowes Lyon, were preparing to welcome their first child. The baby was born by Caesarine section at 2.40 a.m. on April 21, 1926. This royal child is the third on the throne. But because her father was only the second son of King George V, it was widely assumed that the child's uncle, Prince Edward, the Prince of Wales and her father, would be the successor. The baby was named Elizabeth Alexandra Mary. Following her great-grandmother's name is Queen Alexandra, and her grandmother is Queen Mary. From the moment she was born as a princess, God decided that her life would face many changes. In 1930, Elizabeth's younger sister, Princess Margaret was born. When growing up, the two sisters showed completely different personalities. Princess Elizabeth always proved to be careful, responsible and tidy. She could not go to sleep without removing the saddle and feeding the horse. Meanwhile, Princess Margaret is very naughty. Elizabeth possessed light brown curly hair and porcelain white skin. Her blue eyes always look directly at others with smiling faces, which is why her father calls his daughter Lilibet. Elizabeth's mother gave birth to her at a time when all the royal children were subjected to the harshest teaching. That is also why she inherited a comprehensive education to deserve to be a member of the royal family. Although not under pressure to become an heir since childhood, but being born in the royal family was a great pressure, and invisible weighed heavily on the little girl. Princess Elizabeth does not go to school like her peers. She is taught by a team of private tutors at home. From French, math, history, dance and music, all have to be proficient. The Bravery of the Girl Rank of As a teenager, World War II forced Elizabeth and her sister Margaret to move to Windsor Castle to ensure their safety. However, it was also from the war that she began to perform her duties as a royal princess. She made the radio show with special speech to reassure children who had to be evacuated from their homes and their families. The 14-year-old princess displayed her calm and firm personality. She told the people, in wishing you all good evening, I feel that I am speaking to friends and companions who have shared with my sister and myself many a happy children's hour. Thousands of you in this country have had to leave your homes and be separated from your fathers and mothers. My sister Margaret Rose and I feel so much for you as we know from experience what it means to be away from those we love most of all. To you living in new surroundings, 
we send a message of true sympathy. And at the same time, we would like to thank the kind people who have welcomed you to their homes in the country. All of us children who are still at home think continually of our friends and relations who have gone overseas, who have traveled thousands of miles to find a wartime home and a kindly welcome in Canada, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and the United States of America. My sister and I feel we know quite a lot about these countries. Our father and mother have so often talked to us of their visits to different parts of the world. So it is not difficult for us to picture the sort of life you are all leading and to think of all the new sights you must be seeing and the adventures you must be having. But I am sure that you too are often thinking of the old country. I know you won't forget us. It is just because we are not forgetting you that I want, on behalf of all the children at home, to send you our love and best wishes to you and to your kind hosts as well. Before I finish, I can truthfully say to you all that we children at home are full of cheerfulness and courage. We are trying to do all we can to help our gallant sailors, soldiers and airmen. And we are trying too to bear our own share of the danger and sadness of war. We know, every one of us, that in the end all will be well. For God will care for us and give us victory and peace. And when peace comes, remember, it will be for us, the children of today, to make the world of tomorrow a better and happier place. My sister is by my side and we are both going to say good night to you. Come on, Margaret. Good night, children. Good night and good luck to you all. However, the princess still wants to take on more missions, which is to serve in the military. In early 1945, the king allowed Princess Elizabeth to join the Women's Support Territory Army with her ID number 230,873. The princess was trained to become a driver and a mechanic. She drove a military truck and proceeded to the rank of low-ranking commander. From there, Princess Elizabeth was the only female member of the British royal family to join the armed squad and serve during World War II. Elizabeth had a glimpse of a different world, a non-royal world. She had another vivid experience outside the monarchy, where rare royal dared to try. On a trip to South Africa in 1947, the young Elizabeth boldly declared that her life would be devoted to serving the nation. Fate became queen. In 1936, when King George V, grandfather of Queen Elizabeth II, died, her uncle took the throne as Edward VIII. But by the end of 1936, the king's desire to marry an American ordinary woman, Wallace Simpson, sparked a controversy because she had been divorced twice. Under royal law, a ruler cannot marry a divorced person while his or her ex-husband is still alive. Consequently, King Edward VIII abdicated to resolve to marry the one he loved. Therefore, his younger brother, the father of Queen Elizabeth to Mr. Albert was crowned as George VI. From here, she became the first heir. On February 6, 1952, after a long illness, King George VI of Great Britain and Northern Ireland dies in his sleep at the royal estate at Sandringham. Princess Elizabeth, the oldest of the king's two daughters and next in line to succeed him, was in Kenya at the time of her father's death. When hearing the bad news, she did not cry, but her face turned pale with worry. 
Queen Elizabeth returned to London and went to St. James Castle to meet a few hundred members of the British Commission, where she discussed the necessary procedures before the coronation. The official coronation of Queen Elizabeth took place on June 2, 1953, at Westminster Abbey. For the first time, the ceremony was broadcast on television, allowing people from all over the world to witness the grandeur and the overall view of the event. The Queen's responsibility has since been observed by the world. Woman of the World The years of reign of Queen Elizabeth the second witnessed many major events related to England as well as the whole world. In 1956, British and French forces invaded Egypt after it nationalized the Suez Canal. In the same year, under pressure from the United States, the Soviet Union and the UN, they had to withdraw their troops. In 1957, Ivory Coast declared its independence as Ghana. This is the first British colony country in Africa to separate from the United Kingdom. By 1960, the African Union withdrew from the Commonwealth. After four decades from the coronation, Queen Elizabeth II said, The throne was given to me and I kept taking it, trying to do my best. Queen Elizabeth was not born to sit on the throne, but she had grown up during her reign to deserve the crown placed on her head became the longest ruler of 16 independent nations of the British Commonwealth. Queen Elizabeth II has completely transformed the royal image. Bringing royalty closer to the public, she created a more modern dynasty. Many rituals are too old to be modified by the Queen. National hard to reach places and treasures are now more open to the public. When England and other countries went through difficult economic times, she agreed to cancel the civil list. This is the public tax system that pays royal families, which has existed for nearly 250 years. Although that meant that the whole royal family had to live more frugally. Since then, Queen Elizabeth II has accomplished about 430 royal duties, and supports hundreds of charities and charities each year. Calm Woman There have been many questions that what makes a woman seem soft, like Elizabeth, can calm down before all difficulties during her reign. During the Trooping the Color Ceremony held in 1981, six shots were aimed at her from close range, but no one saw the Queen flinch. At that time, she continued to control her horse and moved forward. The calmness of Elizabeth II made the lower house of Canada so impressed that they had to pass a text praising the Queen's bravery. Or in 1982, when she witnessed an unknown man breaking into her bedroom, she remained calm and talked to the man until the police broke in seven minutes later. You are watching videos on LMT channel. Don't forget to visit the new channel of the LMT Royal Channel. Details below the video. Unusual Encounter and Love Letters In 1939, Queen Elizabeth was only 13 years old, with her family too, at the Royal Naval College in Dartmouth. Prince Philip at the age of 18, was one of the cadets assigned to welcome the beautiful heir of King George VI. His handsome appearance immediately captured the heart of the future Queen of Wales. According to the teacher who taught the Queen at the time, she could not take her eyes off him, although he did not give Elizabeth a special gesture. Elizabeth's sister, Princess Margaret, also said that she doesn't look at anyone else. After that fateful meeting, the Queen and the Prince began exchanging letters. Miss Marion added that Queen Elizabeth took the initiative to write to Philip. Then, in a touching letter Philip sent to the Queen, he confessed his love for Elizabeth and expressed concern about whether he was worthy of the Queen or not. The affection of the Queen and Prince Philip grew through each letter. When World War II broke out, 
Although Philip participated in the war, he and the Queen often exchanged letters. After the war ended, Philip returned to London. In 1946, he dismissed all inferiority complex and decided to propose to the Queen of England. At that time, Philip was 25 years old, and the Queen had just turned 20. In the immense happiness, Queen Elizabeth accepted Philip's proposal without consulting her parents. When he was a Cinderella, she was the Queen. Prince Philip carries Greek and Danish blood. His uncle was King Constantine I, who ruled Greece then, but after a rebellion, he was forced to abdicate. Later, the entire Philip family was expelled from Greece. The incident continued with Philip when his father followed his mistress and his mother was hospitalized in psychiatry. His three older sisters married the German nobles, leaving him alone. From a royal lineage, Philip became a Cinderella living far from his parents, poverty, and not status. For that reason, the love of Queen Elizabeth and Philip was strongly opposed, and their love story became the focus of the media. The Queen's mother is the one who strongly disagrees with her daughter's love. Later, in her autobiography, she mentioned the reason why she objected to this marriage. Philip's sisters were married to the German nobility, and basically they were related to the Nazis. While Elizabeth is about to become the Queen of Wales, the wedding dispels the pain of war. Despite opposition from the family, Queen Elizabeth still married Philip on November 20, 1947. The royal wedding of the two took place monumentally at Westminster Abbey. At a time when England was still facing economic difficulties from World War II, Elizabeth had to collect vouchers used to buy fabrics for wedding dresses. Her wedding dress later became one of the most beautiful dresses in royal history. After the fierce war, Queen Elizabeth's wedding was seen as a warm ray of light that repelled all the trauma and mourning caused by World War II. Right before his marriage, Philip renounced all Greek and Danish titles. He used the title of Lieutenant Philip Mountbatten after his mother's last name. There is no marriage without turbulence. Especially in the early years, Philip was always required to follow the Queen. In every problem, he was always behind the Queen. He was really angry once in his life. I am the only man in this country, not allowed to use my last name given to my children. Following the death of Queen Mary, and the resignation of British Prime Minister Winston Churchill, Queen Elizabeth II requested a change to honor her husband. In 1957, she conferred the title of Prince of England for her husband. Becoming the Queen's spouse, Philip and Elizabeth always stood side by side, not only in private life, but also in royal duties. The two often appear together, and do not hesitate to give gestures of love, affectionate eyes in public. Their love affair, lasting more than seven decades, has made the whole world admired. Thus, it was enough to see that even though she was the queen to be admired, in Elizabeth II's heart, her husband was the most respected person. A mother, a grandmother, In 1948, Queen Elizabeth II was entitled to motherhood when she welcomed her first son, Prince Charles. Then, in 1950, Princess Anne was born again in the immense joy of her parents and the people of England. After giving birth to the first two children, Queen Elizabeth II waited more than a decade to have more children. Because of so much work, the Queen could not think about giving birth. In 1960, Queen Elizabeth II gave birth to her third son, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward, born in 1964, was the last. Inheriting the wonderful education of the mother and the thought of the new era, 
Her children were the first prince princesses to go to school instead of home. Busy as a queen, but never distracted her motherhood, she often took her children on trips. In 2012, when British screen actress Kate Winslet was awarded the CDE Award, she told Queen Elizabeth II that, I would rather be a mother than an actress, and the Queen replied, yes, like that. It's the most important thing in life. Not only has the stern face ever seen, the Queen became a kind grandmother when happy playing with her grandchildren. Although she has turned 94 in 2020, the Queen is never an old man. She has her own YouTube channel, a Facebook page, and even a Twitter account. The age gap does not prevent Elizabeth II from having regular conversations with her children on phone messages. It's hard to be a woman, making it more difficult for a woman in power to be watched by the whole world. Instead of enjoying royal life, Queen Elizabeth II chose to serve the country and the people. Then today, she became one of the perfect female models are the most revered in the world. Thank you for watching videos on the LMD channel. Do not forget to press the register button and press the bell to update the latest videos to support us. Don't stop.